Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a logarithmic equation. We have log x with base 10, when it's not written, plus log 10 with base x equals 2, and we're going to be solving for x values. Now when you see a problem like this, first thing I want you to notice is that the bases are different. So here's my first attempt. I'm going to go ahead and isolate this log 10 with base x and write it as 2 minus log x. So my hope is that I can combine these two things into one that's also called condensing and then kind of look at it from another perspective like log something equals log something else, right? Let's try to do it and since we have base 10 on the right hand side we can actually write this as log 100 which is 10 to the second power minus log x and then eventually write it as log 100 divided by x and I want that to equal log 10 with base x. Now if you have log a equals log b then this just means I don't know why this not, not writing all, well all the time but maybe there's, a, there's an issue with the pen. Anyways if, when log a equals log b then we can immediately say a is equal to b regardless of what the base is but this is only true if the bases are equal right but here we have different bases this is base x this is base 10 right so how do we handle this well we could use the definition for log so whenever you have something like let's say log a with base x equals b this means x to the b equals a right that's the rule for logs that's what, how logs are defined so from here we can safely say that x to the power log 100 over x equals 10. Uh, so we got the variables on the same side. We could simplify this, write it as log 100, which is 2 by the way, minus log x equals 10. And then we can kind of write it as x to the power 2 minus log x equals 10. Right? I mean, I wrote 2. I don't know why, but it's supposed to be a 10. <laughs> okay. And then from here, we could hopefully do something by logging both sides. So at this point, I think it makes sense because we have the base x. Let's go ahead and log both sides with base 10, of course. Let's go ahead and write this here and then log both sides. Log this, log that. Okay. Well, you hopefully know that log 10 is 1. So this is 1. And here we can go ahead and bring this down, write it as 2 minus log x. And that's going to be multiplied by log x. Awesome. This is great because we have the log x twice. So let's do a quick substitution. Let's call that t. And then we get 2 minus t times t equals 1. And then I should probably use a c better because then I could joke with 2c but I know I overdo it. So let's avoid that. 2t minus t squared and 2t is another one. Then put everything on the same side, you're going to get t squared minus 2t plus 1 equals 0. This is very nice because this is a perfect square. And now from here, we get t equals 1. Let's back substitute t is log x. So we can set it equal to log x. And by definition of logs, this means 10 to the power 1 equals x or x equals 10. Right? So x equals 10 seems to be the only solution. And this was my first attempt. I guess you could also use it the first method. And actually, to be honest with you, I didn't even know that this was going to work until I get to this point. And then I realize, aha, I can log both sides and I can get something nice from here. OK, so that was a little surprising for me, too. You know, that, that's why I called it an attempt. But anyways, it's a method now. And let's go ahead and talk about the second method. Okay, and maybe we can come up with third too. So we have log x with base 10, obviously, and then log 10 with base x, the sum is 2. Now, obviously, if you kind of write this as follows, it's going to be a little easier. Look at it this way. Put the little base 10 there, which is not normally written. And I know this is not standard. Some people use log x for natural log, especially Wolfram Alpha, which is kind of annoying. But anyways, what can you do? So it hopefully becomes more clear because we kind of have something like this. Log b with base a and log a with base b equals 2. 
What do you think these two things are? If you say reciprocals, you're totally right about that, right? Because whenever we have something like log A with base B, it can be written as the reciprocal of log B with base A. And how can we prove this? Obviously, you can do the following. You can set this one equal to X, and that would mean that you can set it equal to X, and then A to the X would be B. And then the question is, how do you get A from B? Well, raise both sides to the power 1 over X, and then you're going to get B to the power 1 over X equals A, of course, under certain conditions, so on and so forth. But here, if you think about it, log B with base A would be 1 over X. Why? Because the idea is basically uh, B to the power what number equals A, that question is answered by log function. Make sense? So as you can see here, log A with base B is 1 over X. So that kind of proves a little bit, but yes, to keep a long story short, these are reciprocals. If you add two reciprocals and then the sum is two, kind of like, let's call this A for example, right? This gives you A plus 1 over A equals 2, and then from here you get A squared plus 1 equals 2A, A squared minus 2A plus 1 equals 0, and as before, A equals 1 from here. And then if A equals 1, then obviously X should be 10, because when you set log x equal to 1, you get x equals 10 as before. Make sense? Okay, I hope it does. Now, we're going to look at an alternative approach, which I should probably call the third method, because I just thought of something. So we have log x plus log 10 with base x equals 2. So I'm thinking about this problem like, I have base 10 and I have base x. They're different bases. So whenever you have an equation with different bases, it's very problematic. For example, think about this equation. I think I made a similar video before, something like this, let's say. Well, the bases are different, so I can't really work with this because I can't combine them or condense them. But there's something called change of base formula. So you can pretty much change to any base. How do you change this? to another base, which obviously should be base 10, but let's just say the base is B in this case, and you should just put the 10 here and the X here and you're done. So we're gonna write it this way. It's gonna be log 10 over log X, but you can also do this with base 10. So we could write it as log 10 over log X, but log 10 happens to be one. So it should be one over log X. Awesome. This kind of gives us a quick shortcut and basically tells us that, hey, yay, these are actually reciprocals, right? So we can write this as log x plus 1 over log x equals 2. And then from here, hopefully, you're going to find log x to be 1. That's the only, only solution. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.